Welcome to the Tornado edit page tutorial. To begin, drag an effect to the first slot. Let's take the filter effect. When you turn the main knob, the effect is activated. Now click on the edit button at the bottom of the cassette to open the edit page for that effect. The edit page displays the effect parameters, modulators and the main knob which can be assigned to most of the parameters. On the edit page top line you find all eight main knobs. Here you can see which effect slots you are currently editing. This slot is marked with a red light. Active effect slots are marked with a green light. Here you can activate or deactivate the other effects and try effect combinations. The effect label shows you which effect you are currently editing. Click here to open the effect menu and load a different effect. The effect preset menu makes it easy to try different presets and to save your own creations. The key sync makes it possible to start the effect with the next note, so the effect will always run in sync with your song. Choose the desired key sync rate or just leave it off. The first effect parameter of the filter is the cutoff frequency. Here you can set a basic value for the cutoff. Many effect parameters offer a submenu to adjust specific effect features. Here you can choose the filter type. To assign the main knob, turn the amount controller below the cutoff. Turning to the right will make the main knob add values to the cutoff. Turning it to the left will make it subtract values from the cutoff. Below the amount controller, you find the curve menu. Here you can select different curves to control the behavior of the main knob modulation. These curves give you all kinds of transitions, so the target parameter will perform exactly as you want it to. Double click the value to set it to center position. This sets the amount of main knob impact to zero. Beside the main knob amount, you can assign any of the three available modulator engines. When this button is set to plus, the modulator values will be added to the effect parameter. When this button is set to minus, the modulator values will be subtracted from the effect parameter. Set the button to its center position to deactivate the modulation. As you can see here, you don't have to decide between modulators you can add them as you like. The parameter includes a display that shows the expected modulation range. This makes it easy to set the modulation range exactly where you want it. The red marker displays the real current value. The dry wet controller is the same for every effect. However, Tornado's controller is really powerful because it features different modes to control the mix between original signal and effect signal. The first setting uses the equal power law, so the resulting audio signal will be a little bit attenuated at a 50% mix. The fade mode is a classic crossfade. Dry mode adds the dry signal to the fully amplified effect signal. Wet mode adds the wet signal to the fully amplified dry signal. Wet only disables the dry signal and controls the loudness of the effect signal. This is useful when Tornado is used as a send effect. Control the mix with the main knob to make the effects come in slightly and try the different transition curves to allow the mix to come in fast or to make it fade in and out while you turn the main knob. The windows to the left and right of the main knob belong to the LFOs. Here you can choose between LFO waveforms and the step sequencer. You can decide if the LFOs run only for one cycle so they perform like an envelope that is triggered by the main knob. Or you can decide between straight rates, which run in sync with your song tempo. Sync frequencies include triplets and dotted notes, as well as frequencies in hertz. The quantize feature can reduce the resolution of the LFO curve so it will become stepped. At the bottom of the edit page, you find the modulation engines. 
there are two LFOs and an envelope follower. The three main controls can be assigned to the main knob using the amount control and the transition curves. This makes it possible to control LFO rates or modulation amounts directly with the main knob. Thank you for watching.